What's up guys, today we'll be going over a new glitch in the game that revolves around the artifact mods. And this glitch allows you to get two of the exact same mod on one armor piece that normally you cannot apply. And this includes all the right two columns of perks on the artifact as you see right here. All the other ones aren't armor mods or just reload perks so they don't work quite the same as the right two columns. And some of these in this column are more than 5 energy which means you cannot equip two at the same time. For example, heavy finisher is 7 so obviously you don't have 14 energy in one single piece of armor. My link to the original person I saw doing this I found yesterday, and I believe it is the original source, so go ahead and check him out. But this is how you do it. Normally, if you go to a piece of armor, I'm going to unequip all my stuff first to show it off. If you try to put on two of the exact same mod, it just simply won't let you, as you see right here. Put on one breach refractor, then try to put on the second one, and it just is grayed out and will not let you. It says similar mod already applied. But there is a glitch where if you put on an armor piece with no mods in it at all, as you see right here, there is nothing applied anywhere in any slot. Then you go hover over the armor piece you do want to use, then go ahead and inspect it. Then you can slot two of whatever mod you want. For whatever reason, this bypasses the lockout. I don't know why. It's a bug in the coding. And once you have two of whatever mod you want on an armor piece, you simply just reapply it and you're good to go. And like I said, you can do this with any of the mods on the artifact. It is not the normal armor 2.0 mods, only the artifact mods that this works with. And some of the notable ones are Breach Refractor, like I just showed off, then also the same one with the melee. Both of these require kills with shield piercing weapons and then you grant either melee or grenade energy. So you can use that on an SMG or hand cannon. I like using it on my recluse with shield piercing rounds. You can also do this with all the other artifact mods. Some of them are harder to tell if they're actually doing something like these ones right here for example. But another really good one that you can pair from the depths which increases your void super damage if you are weak when you pop it. So showing off some of these combos and how they stack, first with the Breach Reactor, which will be the grenade on Shield Piercing Kills. First with only one of the perks active, getting 5 kills as you see right here in the Tribute Hall. I'm going to roughly get maybe like 40-ish percent of my grenade back. Now if I go ahead and put on the chest piece with two of them on, as you see right here, and do the same thing, get rid of my grenade energy, and get the same 5 kills again. And now as you see, I'm getting almost double, probably a little bit over double of my grenade energy per kill. At roughly like 70-75% of my grenade. Now we can also do the same thing with the ballistic combo which is the exact same perk but for melee and once again go to an armor piece that isn't equipped and change it to double put it back on. Now with double ballistic combo I get my melee in almost four kills flat. It takes five and my strength isn't even that good. I have tier four strength and the higher your strength or your discipline the more energy you will get back per kill. Another crazy perk to double up on is from the deaths, which will grant bonus void super damage if you cast while critically wounded, and it lasts the entire duration of the super. And this one will be a bond perk, so you need 10 energy on a bond, fully masterwork bond, and as you see right here, I put on one, try to put on the second one, doesn't allow me, all I have to do is go put on a bond that doesn't have anything, then try again. And now it lets me for whatever reason. So now I have two from the devs on my bond at the same time. For this test we're going to use Nova Warp because it's easier to see. First without any of the perks at all, Nova Warp hits 15, 1, 2, 6. Then with one from the devs on, get myself red bar first, pop my super. As you see on the left side it has the perk. And now it hits 19, 6, 6, 3. Now with two from the devs, get myself weak again. As you see it says from the devs times two now on the left side. Now it hits 25, 5, 6, 2, which means with times 1 it's the normal 30%, and with times 2 it's 69% increase, which means the 1.3x modifier is multiplying. So when you double up on these perks, not only does it stack the benefits of the two perks, it actually multiplies them together, which is how a lot of things in this game work. Another perk I went ahead and tested was Disruptor Spike, which will increase the effects of disruption, lowering combatants' damage output even further. It's kind of hard to test some of these other artifact mods that I haven't tested already, but I believe they do stack just like the other ones. So go ahead and do that again. Put on two other Disruptor Spikes. And now I'm going to have to change my Recluse uh, round types to Disruption Rounds, which is easy enough. Now testing this on Greg to see if we notice any difference compared to just one, and I believe it does do something. I think it makes it last longer and also increases the downtime of their abilities. As you see, he shoots once, then for him to shoot again, it takes a very, very long time for him to shoot again, which is his ability, which this perk obviously increases that downtime of. So I do think stacking these other artifact mods also work, but they are not as interesting as the three I showed off first. So there's all kinds of crazy builds you can use this glitch for. 
with good discipline or good strength with the two mods that increase your cooldown every time you get shield piercing weapon kills with good discipline you can get your grenade in almost three kills and then with the strength one you can almost get your melee in two if you have 100 strength so it's kind of insane these perks seem to be based on your base cooldown speed whatever your stats are so the better your stats the quicker you'll get them then the double up on the from the deaths is actually insane to get 70 percent more super damage that is so much more damage for nova bomb or if you use bottom tree tether your tether is going to be doing so much damage with double from the depths it's actually kind of silly so i'm actually going to say i don't think this needs to be changed but it will be changed because it's clearly not intentional i think most of these perks cost so much energy and they take both slots if you want to use two at the same time i don't really see the issue necessarily maybe outside from the depths from the depths getting 70 percent more super damage is probably a little bit over the top but the two for melee and grenade and stuff like that if you want to use both of your slots and use like almost all of your energy on your armor piece i think that's a decent trade-off but obviously this isn't intentional and it probably will be fixed we'll just have to see armor 2.0 is so new and so fresh i'm sure the devs are looking at how the community reacts to some things and they'll probably alter it over time i personally believe you should be able to double dip in any mod anyways and the best way to balance that is just making the really strong mods obviously cost a lot of energy that way you can't double dip or if you can it's like five energy and it requires all of the armor's energy to be able to double dip in that perk so that's my stand on this i think it's actually okay but obviously it's not intentional so more than likely they'll fix it pretty soon with that being said make sure to have a little bit of fun with this the grenade build i'm using on warlock which i want to make a different video on because it doesn't actually require this glitch to be good so I didn't want to put it into this video. I want to make it its own thing. Let's just say I'm getting my grenade very quickly as you see in this pug event. Anyways, let me know what you think about this glitch in Armor 2.0 so far. Do you agree with me that you probably should be able to double dip if you really want to? I can kind of see both sides. Like imagine if Thunder Coil or Oppressive Darkness weren't 6 energy. Imagine if they're both 5 energy. Double Thunder Coil would be doing well over 100% extra arc melee damage. Then Oppressive Darkness, imagine if that stacked. If it's a 30% debuff and that's stacked, it'd be that 69, almost 70% debuff. And that'd be by far the best debuff in the game if that's stacked and actually worked. So I can kind of see both sides of this, but at the same time, if you just make those perks 6 energy, then it kind of fixes itself. Or do you think the intended way of only having one of each artifact mod is probably the best way? Anyways, the rest of the video will just be some gameplay with these broken builds. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.